I'm going to do one more DVD-esque commentary. I did one for the two films that I uh, wrote, acted, and directed in back in high school, way back in 2005, 2006. Uh, this one I didn't um, really uh, write or direct. Um, I did act in it. Um, it was just sort of an idea both uh, Craig Waxman and I had um, to parody the uh, SNL sketch, um, or pay homage to it rather, would be a better way to put that. Um, the Cobble sketch with Will Ferrell, um, that was very popular at the time. Uh, we all really liked that sketch, thought it was really funny, thought Will Ferrell did a really good job um, in his performance. So um, I am going to show uh, the film and I'll do some commentary on it also. So as with the other uh, two videos I, I just posted. Um, so here we go. Uh, just have to get the camera uh, in alignment here. I have to get it a little bit closer. Um, but uh, this was after both Steven Safari and the vampire film. Um, we both uh, just really liked that sketch, so we just decided to make one more short film for the film club that I founded uh, way back way back in high school. Um, and here we go. Uh, just it's basically just a homage to that sketch. Uh, we basically just do it word by word. Um, we don't really add anything to it. We just sort of uh, pay homage to it here. But uh, Craig does a good job of editing this. Adam Harris is in this also as an actor. Um, Josh Nesky also acts in this. Um, Mark von Bucher, um, who unfortunately uh, passed away, um, acts in this also. I didn't know him super well in high school, but a really nice person. And I, I know he's in a better place now. So uh, really cool guy. Um, good man there. Um, there's Simon again acting in this also. So we have a lot of good band members here. Um, I'm Clay Bruce Dickinson. I do my best Christopher Walken um, impression, which, uh, you know, is good. It's not like uh, perfect, but it's uh, I think it's good overall. Um, have the Lloyd's Limited pub there. That is a bar in uh, Penn Yan. Um, unfortunately, uh, the owner of that bar was accused of sexual harassment. So um, I I still have the shirt and I wore, wore that in another video. Um, but uh, it is a good bar. Um, I don't uh, condone that behavior, but um, the bar in Penn Yan is nice. Just a nice small bar in Penn Yan, New York um, that I went to when I lived there for a bit. But um, yeah, just, we're just basically just rehashing the sketch here. Uh, you know, the whole idea that there's too much cowbell. Um, uh, Bruce keeps coming back in, stating that he needs more, um, which is uh, kind of funny because there is quite a bit of cowbell in that song. Um, uh, and it's strange that um, they did have someone just playing that, that cowbell part there. Uh, which is uh, relatively simple to play. So, um, but Adam does a good job of hamming it up here. Um, Adam's a good actor, as mentioned in another video. He's in a lot of the school plays. There's Josh on the far left there. He's a good guitar player too. He's an actual musician now. Um, I think then he was just starting out, but um, and I don't think he even had his first show then. But um, Simon played guitar too, guitar also, um, and was actually in a band in high school with. Uh, Josh there. Um, Craig also played guitar. I never played guitar. I played trumpet in the jazz band and wind ensemble. Um, Mark there did play the drums in uh, wind, I'm sorry, not wind ensemble, jazz ensemble. Good drum player there. Um, and uh, Adam uh, didn't play any instruments in the high school bands, but he did sing also, and he did a lot of acting in the school plays, as mentioned. Uh, so yeah, this is just uh, us playing around, just having a good time here. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I I don't know why I did that Christopher Walken accent originally. I don't know why I tried that out. I just uh, I remember seeing him in Pulp Fiction and liking him, and so I just tried it out one day. I don't know why I uh, did that, but um, 
uh, I can still kind of do it. Um, and I did that in one of the videos that I posted there, but, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I guess it's just because I saw him, pulp, in, him in Pulp Fiction, and that's what kind of inspired me to try out his voice. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's a good actor. Um, really good in The Dead Zone. Really good film there. Um, looking at everybody's clothes there. I'm not following dress code there, um, so we might have actually gotten in trouble, or I might have. I think everybody else is... Josh isn't following dress code either, so Josh and I would have gotten in trouble, but I think we did this after hours. So I think this is after 3 p.m., so I don't think we would have gotten in trouble as we did it after uh, school ended. And I think Adam would... Well, no, Adam's okay. He's he's following dress code there. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is Allendale, Columbia. This is the high school we went to. Um, just a bunch of us uh, there. Uh, big nerd men. Um... Well, not actually big. I think I'm either Simon or I probably the tallest there. I'm about five nine and a half. Josh looks a bit shorter there, but I mean, he's a little taller than me now. He's probably five ten, five ten and a half. Adam and Craig are both about five eight. I think actually no, Mark was probably the tallest. He was probably five eleven. Simon was pushing five eleven, five ten, five ten and a half, somewhere around there. So we're all kind of medium in terms of height. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm looking at, oh, there's some artwork on the back there. Um, this is our band room, um, or the school's band room, rather. Um, there looks like some scales, uh, right near the artwork there, and that blue, um, uh, square there on the far right. And I give Simon a big hug at the end there, um, to sort of improvise that. But yeah, um, that's the homage to the SNL sketch that um, I acted in way back in high school. And yeah, uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching and listening. And I uh, hope you have a good rest of the day. If you do want to leave a comment or like or subscribe, um, feel free to do so. Um, I'm just going to watch the credits here because I, I think, yeah, that's it for that. I don't think we have any like post-credit bonus scenes or anything like that. But uh, thanks again, and I hope you have a good rest of the day.